students and viewers, and welcome to my second lesson. As I told you earlier in my first lesson, this is the Watchman Chemistry Center. Here, we are going to visit yesterday, dismantle, debunk, device, disseminate, in order to demystify that chemistry is one of the simplest subjects a student can score. I'm your favorite watchman, teacher Fabian. Welcome. To the topic of today, I want us to look at the vision mapping of chemistry syllabus that is from form 1 to form 4 using 9 clusters I'm going to list these nine clusters, and then from there, we are going to embark on going through each cluster. So number one, the first cluster is arithmetic work in chemistry. We have only 19 calculations in chemistry. So students do not have to worry much about arithmetic work in chemistry. Only 19. When we go through these 19 calculations, you realize that if you are student sitting somewhere with a pen and a paper, if you decide each day, you just go through one calculation, it will take you less than a month to tackle the 19 calculations. And when I talk about the 19 calculations, we are talking about a calculation on the percentage composition of the active part of air, uh, an area that is taught in Form 1. You have the calculation of relative atomic mass, that is Form 2 work. We have calculation on ideal using the ideal gas equation, that is combined gas law. We have another one on Gram's law. Then we have the Gay-Lussac's law. Those are uh, taught in Form 3. We have the solubility, which is taught in Form 4, the first topic. Then we have a calculation on oxidation numbers. We also have calculation on EMF of a cell. We also have calculation on quantity of electricity. Then we have the heat of solution, heat of combustion, heat uh, of formation, Heat of displacement, heat of neutralization. Uh, we have bond energies. We have lactase, hydration, and solution. Then we have calculation on half life. The last topic in form four. That is a topic of radioactivity. So this is the first cluster that we are going to embark on when it comes to calculations. Then. The second one is preparation of gases. We have on the 17 gases that are standard under chemistry syllabus. That is from Form 1 to Form 3 work. And I'm going to mention them. Form 1. Uh, you are taught about preparation of oxygen and also hydrogen. Those are two gases that are taught in Form 1. Then Form 2, 
preparation of carbon 4 oxide and carbon 2 oxide. Then, form 3, on the topic of uh, organic chemistry, we have the preparation of a vein, which we are going to take as a representative of that homologous series of alkenes. Then we have the preparation of a vein, also we are going to take it as a representative of that class and preparation of a vein. That is the topic of organic chemistry one. Then you go to the nitrogen and its compound. There is preparation of nitrogen gas, preparation of nitrogen one, which is called graphene gas. We have preparation of nitrogen two, preparation of nitrogen four, and preparation of ammonium gas. When you go to the topic of sulfur, and its compound, that is preparation of sulfur 4 oxide, preparation of sulfur 6 acid, sorry, sulfur 6 gas, and then we have the preparation of hydrogen sulfide gas. Then chlorine and its compound, there you will prepare two gases, that is preparation of hydrogen chloride gas and the preparation of uh, chlor uh, chlorine gas. Those are the 17 gases that we are talking about. However, in the preparation of gases, I'm going to include the preparation of nitric 5 acid. Then the land cluster, we are going to look at uh, periodicity. Here, yeah, I said we are going to deal uh, my first lesson, I said we are going to uh, cover five areas in regards to periodicity. Uh, that is atomic structure. We have the periodic table. Allow me to write in initials. Uh, then we have the chemical families. We also have structure and body. And lastly, but not the least, we have periodic trends. So these are the uh, major five areas that we are going to look at when it comes to periodicity. The other cluster that you are going to look at is a cluster that is organic chemistry. Here on organic chemistry, we are going to define terms that are mainly asked in organic chemistry. We are going uh, to name compounds in organic chemistry and also isomerism. Naming will entail using the UPAC uh, law, that is International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. And in this isomerism and naming, we are going to fee feature eight areas. We are going to look at the alkenes, the alkenes, the alkynes, the alkanos, the carboxylic acids, we have the esters, the, the Polymers and also we look at soaps. So, uh, organic chemistry definitely that's an area we are going to look at uh, uh, those eight areas and also the 13 processes that I mentioned in my first lesson. The other cluster that we are going to look at is industrial chemistry. Here, we'll be looking at eight processes when it comes to industrial chemistry. Uh, these processes include, we have fractional distillation of liquid air, which is taught in Form 1 and also Form 3 uh, chemistry. Then, number two, we are going to look at the survey process. 
that is the manufacture of sodium carbonate. We are going also to look at the other process, that is the manufacture of ammonia, then followed by the Ostwand process, that is the manufacture of nitric 5 acid. Then also on the topic of sulfur and its compound, we are going to look at flask uh, process where you obtain sulfur in that process, then followed by contact process, that is the manufacture of sulfuric 6 acid. Then we go to chlorine and this compound where we are going to look at land scale manufacture of hydrochloric acid. In form 4, uh, the industrial process that we are going to look at there is extraction of metals. Here, we are going to look at extraction of uh, sodium and also extraction of uh, aluminium. These two, they are extracted through electrolysis. Then, we also look at extraction of zinc, uh, extraction of orange, and extraction of iron, which are extracted from their ores through reduction by carbon and carbon-2 oxide. And lastly, but not the least, we are going to look at extraction of copper through froth frotation. Those are the eight processes that you are going to analyze them so that the student can understand them. The sixth cluster which you are going to look at is acid, bases, salts, and classification of substances. Here, we are going to look at uh, separating of mixtures. Uh, we have those separ separation techniques like sublimation, use of separating funnel, fractional distillation, solvent extraction, chromatography, and also you can use filtration method. So uh, that is one area that you are going to expound in that angle. Uh, also, we are going to look at preparation of salt. This is soluble salt and insoluble salt. Then action of wheat on this salt. We are going to look also at uh, amphoteric oxides and uh, hydroxides. And also we are going to look at the strength of uh, acids and bases. The seventh uh, cluster that we are going to look at is graphical work in chemistry. And here we are going to look at 10 graphs. Chemistry has only 10 graphs. And these 10 graphs, four of, out of those 10, requires a skill drawing. The others is just a sketch. We are going to look at the decay curve that requires a skill drawing. We are going to look at solubility curves uh, that requires a skill drawing. We are going also to look at thermometric titration that also requires skill uh, drawing. We are going to look at the rate of reaction curves that requires a skill drawing. So those four are the ones that require a skill drawing. Then energy levels diagrams, those ones require a sketching. We have the eating curve and also we have the cooling curve. Then we have dynamic equilibrium. Uh, we have the Bohr's Boyer's law graph, and lastly but not the least, we are going to look at the Charles Law graph. The eighth cluster that you are going to look at is uh, drawing of diagrams in chemistry. So here uh, you can be told to draw an electrochemical cell 
you can be told to draw uh, an experiment to show how a certain mixture can be separated. You can be told to draw uh, illegal superpartition of a certain gas. So those are uh, some of the areas that we are going to look at. Then the ninth cluster now, we are going to look at the laws and theories in the chemistry. Uh, here we are going to look at some of the laws that you already know. Uh, we have the Boyer's law, the Charles law, the Graham's law, uh, the Gay Lussac's law. We have the Faraday first law of electrolysis. We have the Earth's law of constant its emission. And then we we'll also look at the kinetic theory of matter. So these are the nine uh, clusters that we are going to expound uh, on them. So in my next lesson, I'm going to start with arithmetic work in chemistry. Thank you.